Junkies. Junkies. Um, so we're going to talk about now. Let's go back to the talk, the conversation about superhero shows. Was, since we were talking about WandaVision, and that was kind of like one of the big topics of this week and even going into this weekend. But, you know, just last night, The Flash returned, which was one of the more recent popular shows, mm-hmm. popular superhero shows on TV. Superman and Lois came out last week. Uh, Black Lightning has been on for a couple of weeks. But there is a stark contrast between the quality, even though Superman and Lois was, was better, than most Arrowverse CW shows, it's still, you find the, the, the quality lacking. You look at a show like WandaVision where they can explore numerous areas of, you know, of creativity. Uh, you know, they're not limited to syndication runs. They can tell their story and just be done with it. Uh, similar to the way that Marvel Netflix was done. Similar to the way that hopefully the HBO Max Green Lantern series is going to be. Should superhero shows even be on network TV anymore? Like looking at the CW versus Disney Plus, there's a case to be made. Uh, Amarok, what do you say? What do you think? I honestly have spent way more time with the uh, the CW uh, shows than any of the movies that have have came out. I don't know how long, but uh. I don't know. Like everything has just lost my interest over on on this on the CW side. It's all about you know Marvel right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel the same. Yeah, no, I I, I agree, and that's why I, I wanted yeah. to ask the question. So, do you think has has the whole approach to network TV kind of become stale? Has it become outdated? Like, is there no has place not. for it? Anymore? It, no? It's just it's one of those uh, place and time type deals. Like the streaming services have taken over a lot of things, and sure. the the I, I haven't seen DC make as many you know tries as Marvel over the thing, but the Flash was good, the Arrow was good. Those shows were were actually very good yeah. in the beginning. And, <laughs> I mean, and it's I, just like yeah. I'm in a weird place with that one. I cause I can watch that. I would when I got off of work, I would go home and I would up flash his own poop and I would turn on the TV like it was twenty years ago. And uh it was fine with me. So I'm one of those weirdos. But like if I can get that series to just watch, I'll be fine. But you I, can't get that yeah, from I but mean, one company, right? I mean, now. let's think about it, right? So it's been almost it's been just about almost ten years since the Arrowverse first launched in with arrow back in 2012 since then there was no really there was no superhero shows on tv at all so but now since then we've had luke cage we've had iron fist we've had daredevil we've had you know wandavision now we're about to have falcon and the winter soldier so megashawn let's let's throw it to you if even if you had to pay a premium to see a more quality show and it was never on network TV again, would that be a huge loss or would it just be nothing but gains for fans everywhere? I don't think it would be a loss, um, but I don't feel it's fair to compare WandaVision or um um uh, wow, um Cap and Falcon, Falcon and Winter, Falcon Falcon, Winter Soldier. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think it's fair to compare them to the CW because what was that early about a year or two ago? We had read that they were dropping 20 million per episode. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you spend 20 million an episode, when you watch the CW, you sometimes you think they're not even spending 30,000 per episode. <laughs> and and right. the issue, and I, and I feel that is the issue is. I don't know if it's because now, you know, with them um, gathering uh, like Dragon Ball rings, you know, all, you know, Marvel's getting all their characters back. So now there is no um, inconsistency where as, you know, you have the CW, okay, you guys can take these characters. You have, you know, um, Mm -hmm. the DC universe. Okay. We have these characters. So there is no consistency in that universe i mean Mm -hmm. and so and i think there lies the issue and then also whomever like from a story standpoint the stories from the cw are killing 
the movies, but financially, the movies are getting all the backing. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The uh, studios are, you know, you know, so so you can tell that, like how um, Marvel is investing in Wandavision mm-hmm. and um, and uh, Falcon and Bucky. That's not what. <laughs> Wow, Warner Falcon Brothers and Bucky, not even Falcon and Bucky. Well, Falcon and Bucky. Okay, yeah. they're moving with confidence. Is, yeah, is no, they also, are. Like they're moving with their money, like they know they're about to get it back. Well, sure but they do. They do. They they have a proven track record. You know, once yeah. you get to you can once you, you can do that. Popping so, billion dollar movies, you kind of I'm, I'm gonna do what I want. This is true. Yeah. This, uh, but when I you when you is, put something yeah. up and you know everything else has just kind of been shaky, you're not and gonna for put record, all your money in everything. That first season or two of Arrow was fantastic. It was. It just, the end it of was. season two and season three took a dip. Yeah, then it just got, I don't but, know. But, but, then, just... but I think you're highlighting my point, is that because they had to stretch things out, they had to move it towards syndication, they were mandated to put out 20, 20 episode orders, and they have to keep churning out this show in order to keep gotcha. the ad dollars going. If they were just to take that stuff, the same writing teams that were kind of hamstrung by network TV standards, and you 100%. put them on, if you put them on streaming network instead, money in the bank. I but, think I think it would be great. But I don't think it's the network TV. So now you, you don't. guys can oh, let okay. me know as far as from a legal standpoint, Warner Brothers, they do control. Um, what goes on the CW, or is that a different situation? I mean, ultimately, yes. I yeah, mean, they, it's a they have division, a, yeah, a but different they division. own it, right? Ultimately, so, yes, they do. And and as far as marketing dollars and production value dollars, that would then come from them as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. For whatever reason, they just don't seem to care. Like, because I mean, I, I'm not blaming it on the network. Because if you put out, like, if One Division was on the CW. You know, I would imagine it would have the same success if that twenty million dollars per episode was put behind it. Right. You know, knowing, here's you here's know why I, mean? I disagree but with that. CW is just here's why I like, disagree right, with whatever. that. The network, like like Kinshiro said, network pushes for syndication. Yeah. They want they want that fifty episode break point where mm-hmm. they can go into syndication and run the show on other networks for forever as long as people actually watch it that means narratively you are telling stories that are just to get to the next episode to get to the monster Mm -hmm. of the week to do whatever and i think when you get to something like that where it's just like like for example let's take um matter of fact arrow's a perfect example Mm -hmm. you guys said the first two seasons were were good solid show solid everything very good so they were like oh well this is successful we get an ad money. Let's keep pushing it so we get to syndication. Mm-hmm. Even though the story that and the, the narrative and the story that you're trying to tell might be over, it's over. You are trying to find whatever mm-hmm. you can find to stretch and keep telling more story and uh, telling more and, story. And, and, and where did they go? Uh, where did they go? Tidbit. And where did they go? X Files did the same thing. Where, but where did they go with Arrow? They dipped right into the Batman. Well, oh, of course. They dipped right into the Batman. Of course. Well, let's, Beca- let's, go ahead. Speaking of speaking of Arrow, mm-hmm. right? Speaking of the uh the the narrative being over now i know nothing about oliver queen's uh comic book background but he went one season one season you got random women dying and then they coming back and not a heroes and then they dying again and they coming back as heroes so to y'all's point yeah i would imagine after season two they had nothing else to write, so now they just killing everybody and bringing yeah. them back. Being that's the pretty last. much it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, that's why no. streaming has oh. the advantage because it's literally Hold we don't off. have to worry about whether or not we need to get to season two for Wandavision. Yeah. Hold Our hold story is basically done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, hold that thought. So, um, I need to. We need to get to the chat. There's a lot of really great stuff coming out of the chat. So, Driz Driz T is saying, I feel like if they are serious or they have dark themes, then no, they shouldn't. Uh, the streaming shows I feel like have more freedom and he's absolutely right um, Marcus A64 says well the CW doesn't have Disney money backing them either that's also they got true. Warner Brothers and AT&T they got money they they do have money they do have money but they would be better served if they were on streaming that's just my point For sure. um, let's see so uh, Dristy also says I also think networks have to try to include too many audiences which waters the show down mm-hmm. networks are like Nintendo <laughs> while streaming is like Microsoft Sony I don't know about that analogy, but okay. I can, uh, no, I can I can see where he's going with that though. You're talking about being like family friendly because 
Now, Maybe. Somebody, it's partially the family friendly because, again, FCC steps in when you're on the network. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, streaming, FCC is there, but they, they don't have pull like they do on network. Because yeah, it's like cable. Yeah, but King, King uh, <laughs> had something else he was finishing up, so yeah, let's, let's let him finish that. Uh, I'm right. You were talking to yeah, me. Talking yes, to you. King. Yes, you, you finished what you were saying. Yes. Oh no, it was about the uh, the arrow. I got some uh, some funny news as to why the uh, third season took a dip, and that was right when the Flash was coming out. Mm-hmm. If you look on the list, a lot of their writers would t- <laughs> went, went to, to the, the Flash. Flash. Right, because that first <laughs> season, <laughs> that first couple of seasons of Flash was fire too. Mm-hmm. But, but then, see, yeah, yeah, that's bad like, management. They came out though. swinging with that one because they knew they could. That's right. what I said. Like when that's... you move with confidence, it's it's perfectly fine. But yeah. they took people off thinking, all right, they got the story all flushed out, and they can just keep this trotting for a while. And then they took them, put them on another thing, and it instantly went to shit. You could tell. But the Flash came out with the people that you knew did the good right, and then they stopped that formula, which. Yeah actually would have worked and they wrote like three more horrible shows well speaking of flash real quick did anybody watch the flash yes i watched it this morning how was oh, it oh gosh it was okay but then last it was okay though, it was go, ahead, okay. go ahead mega sean um uh, lastly to y'all to y'all point of everything i think whether it's kevin um I, and, and his and, and and his thought process mm-hmm. is that these shows because they're not in you know in their own universe they're tying in and so these shows are building bridges and filling gaps so what if like every four months we got a movie but then there was a show you know what i'm saying like that's that's just fantastic because now you it's just consistent you know you got this tying into this a couple months later there's a movie then there's a show that that ties into the next movie and it just goes on and on and on and everybody's printing money True that. I'll send it over to the people. Except for the CW. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that clip. Make sure you check out our live content on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash culture junkies. We also have a lot of content available on YouTube, unboxings as well as Blu-ray reviews. And you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash culture junkies. And on top of all of that, if you go to culturejunkies.net, you can check out our merch store. The link is culturejunkies.net slash merch. There's a lot of great merchandise there. So there's links and logos and stuff all around me. So check those out and we will see you next time.